he knows the way inside. He still swung at it. Kind of weird to me, but whatever. I'm going to put the splitter up high here. Oh, that was a bad one. Bad ball there. Alright. I'm just going to go with the old fastball. Very nice. But yeah, uh, like I said, I haven't really watched much base watched much baseball. Can't talk today. But for those of you uh, in my audience watching this video right now, are you guys big baseball fans? Let me know what you think about uh, the new CBA that was just signed uh, the lockout. Thankfully didn't go on too long. Like I said, the new CBA was just signed um, just the other day. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a good deal for the players, better for the owners? Are you excited to be getting back into uh, baseball? I don't even know if much of my audience even watches base baseball, to be honest. Um, I've never done a video on, the, on baseball. But, uh, it's something you guys would like me to do more of. Uh, you know, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's a foul ball, unfortunately. But um, maybe I could try and get my hands on some baseball cards or something like that. Actually, no, I do have uh, some baseball cards. Uh, probably sitting at my parents' house somewhere. I could try and get my hands on those. Um, Obviously, they've all been opened already, but uh, I could go through them kind of like my basketball card video I did. That would be an interesting topic for a video. Uh, ooh, nice one. Out of homer, unfortunately. Yep. And we're up to two outs early in the game. But I mean, if we're getting early outs here, at least this video won't try and go on too long. I was also thinking maybe, uh, you know, instead of doing the show 22, maybe I do uh, out of the park baseball 22. I think that could maybe be an interesting video out of the park baseball, but I'm not, I'm not so sure. I don't know really how well that game uh, would translate into a video. It's a lot of like spreadsheet, uh, a lot of spreadsheet watching and stuff like that. And oh my god, that's safe. Wow. Wait. Oh, oh, I thought that was safe. It was out. Oh no. Okay, it was safe. Weird. Alright. I just said strike out there, so I was like, wait, what? But it wasn't actually a strikeout, but that is an out. And we're going back onto the mound. Neither team has scored a run. End of the first inning. And we have Miguel Sano. Sano. Miguel Sano. Not sure how you pronounce it. Up to bat. Oh, really bad pitch there. The diamond is kind of hard to get correct in this. Like that's the main thing I've struggled with so far is, has been the diamond. Feels like I get it either too early or too late on these. But there we go, two strikes, one ball. Okay. And he wants us to throw this brook directly into his crotch. Interesting decision, but there we go. Strike out on Sano. 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 Let me know how his name is pronounced. Well, so I just can whip him back in there. I will say this game lends itself really well to YouTube thumbnails. Like some of those slow motion clips they keep playing. I'm just going to be able to screen grab some of those and uh, just put text over it and make a thumbnail out of that. That's actually really, really useful. I didn't know the game did that. Okay, the 
there's a foul ball there, so I'm still sitting on two strikes. 21 pitches so far for Shohei in this game. But there's the strikeout. And two outs for the Minnesota Twins. Now they have Mitch Garver up on base. I'm going to go bottom left corner because that's his blue zone. I think that's probably where he struggles. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing that's what that means. Whereas the red zones are where he's a stronger hitter. Oh, nice little slider there. Alright, this one's for all the marbles. I'm going to go slightly out here left. Let's see if we can swing at that. No, he doesn't. That was an obvious, got an obvious one there. We'll go low on this one. Nice. And we retire the side. Shohei Otani doing, doing good right now with the pitching, and look at that, just an absolute beast. Uh, I do not have him uh, hitting at the moment, he's not in my hitting lineup right now, although he can do that, I'm you know, pretty sure he can't do that. Hey, look at me, I actually uh, didn't swing at a bad pitch there. That's, that's pretty rare for me. I usually swing at those. Yep, as you can see right there. I thought I could get on top of that one. I could not. Oh, bad aim on that one, I guess. Oh no, I hit it square just way too early on it. Ah, and the changeup gets me out there. Who do we have here? Matt Chapman. from the athletics roster, uh, just the guys that I needed to move in order to get uh, Otani, which I, I can't remember. Sorry, I had to adjust my legs. My, uh, my feet were falling asleep, but um, I can't remember off the top of my head who it was that I had to trade to get Otani. Uh, but I had to move a couple guys, but Beyond that, it's basically just the Oakland Athletics roster. So, you can pretty much assume that we're not going to be any good, uh, you know, because the Athletics aren't any good, but uh, way too high, way too high, fly ball, or fly out, pop fly. I'm not sure, I don't know the, uh, the lingo, but end of the second inning, it's still neither side has scored a run. I'm going to pick this bottom right corner here because that's why he's cold. Nice. I beat that one where you got a slider here. I can slide you one, but don't worry. Slider. Ooh. Oh no, that was good. Oh, that's really annoying. really annoying. He got it like right along that foul line. I was so sure that that was going to be like a foul ball. So now we just need to uh, retire this side without letting them get more hits. But my timing is like massively sped up for some reason. Okay, what's going on? But the timing is completely different right not sure what's happening, but that's that's really weird. Like it completely changed the timing on my pitches. They're all really fast now. I wonder if that's like supposed to represent maybe like a confidence shake or something. I don't know, but we retire one pitcher. Partway there, partway there. Just need to get two more. Got a guy on second. That's what's going on with the pitching right now. It's so weird. Like it's it got so sped up. Okay, there we go. 99. That was a 99 mile per hour fastball. That's insane. Okay. 
got two outs, but they have a runner on third. They have a rookie batter up at the plate right now, though. And man, I cannot, I cannot get a hang. I was like just getting a hang of the, the old pitch speed, but now it's shifted on me. It's so much faster now. It's weird. situation there, but we did not allow them to score a run. Shohei O'Dani seemingly was getting a little bit shaky there uh, after the, you know, after giving up those two runs, but he got it together. Retired the side. That was a bad swing. I should not have swung at that. Is that that's good that's good he's going to second and he'll stay at second uh whoever just hit has a speed of zero according to uh according to the little blurb up there Bonk. look at that that's very similar to what just happened to us the last inning but we have a runner on second no outs so, this is a good position for us. Ugh, but then I just swing at that garbage pitch. Garbage pitch. Alright. Ooh, the last of that. Is that a homer?
was actually trying to get my hands on like a digital download or something for that game. And I was going to play that game instead of the show. But it was impossible to find it. Um, the newest version of the game is an exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. And I have a Switch emulator. But nobody has uploaded a ROM of the game anywhere on the internet. And it's, like I said, it's a Switch exclusive. And then the older version of the game, Pro Yaku Spirits 2019, is not available on the North American PlayStation Store. So there's actually no way for me to play the, um, basically this version of the game before the Japanese League. Because like I said, that that's the one that I wanted to be playing right now. It just seemed like it'd be a fun, you know, way to mix things up compared to, I'm assuming, everybody else who just does the show. Uh, I'll keep trying. I don't know, at some point in the future, I'll be able to uh, find a copy of that game, either for Switch or PS4, and we can do some Japanese baseball. I think that would be a really fun video to do. Um, I've been watching a lot of like videos and reading a lot of stuff about the Japanese Baseball League, and it seems like an awesome time. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can find some way to play that game and make a video for you guys about it, but in the meantime, oh, I'm just playing this, uh, bottom of the fourth right now, I just swung on an absolute garbage pitch, I swung on this one, but at least I made some contact with it, so we're staying alive, driving the pitch counter up. But just just swung on that. That was also a garbage pitch. They are at 36 pitches right now. What's Shohei sitting at? 51. Shohei is sitting at 51 pitches. Uh, I guess that's you know when you swing at every single pitch like I do, the pitch counter doesn't really get very high for the opposition. This, this guy is just swinging at absolutely everything. Did not swing at that one though. So I probably, uh, I probably would have swung at that pitch. It was a bad. Nice. Probably strike him out. Donaldson. I feel like I know that name. I'm not sure why I know that name because I don't know baseball players. But is that guy's name Aaron? Aaron Donaldson. Am I just stupid? I don't know. Maybe. Um, in actual baseball news, because I have very limited news, I don't know much about baseball. But apparently, there is this really good Japanese player, uh, Sayu Suzuki. For the Hiroshima Carp, I think. Yeah, I think the Carp. And apparently, the Seattle Mariners, you know, my local team until Portland gets a team, uh, is one of the teams that he is considering going to. Now, obviously, the Mariners, they had Ichiro Suzuki. Say Kikuchi on the roster. And um, the Mariners were actually at one point the favorites to land the guy you uh, have been playing as this game, Shohei Otani. Now, unfortunately, the Los Angeles Angels uh, ended up 
you know, at the 11th hour, kind of snagging uh, Otani away from the Mariners. So that's kind of one of those what could have been type situations. But, uh, yeah, this Seiyu Suzuki guy, he sounds really good. Sorry, I do it just again. Uh, he sounds really good. And I think it would be awesome if somehow uh, the Mariners could manage getting him on the team. Um, especially because I think I'm going to try to get out to a game this year. Um, I think that'd be cool. I might even, if I can get out to a game up in Seattle, I might even uh, try to make a video about it, you know, like kind of a travel blog or something, like a, just like talking about my game day experience going up to Seattle. We'll see. Obviously nothing is set in stone. Um, but I think that'd be really cool, and if they can get that Seiyu Suzuki guy, that'd probably uh, be cool to go see him in person. Also, I think uh, the Mariners are calling up uh, Julio Rodriguez this season. They've kind of alluded to the idea that Julio is going to be getting a lot of uh, playing time. And he's supposed to be like a really good prospect in their system. Oh my god. No way. Did he get it inside the park on that? No, he's on second though. He's on second. Otani is, his confidence is shaking again. Fast pitches now. Nice. Uh, but yeah, Julio Rodriguez, he's supposed to be up. Uh, Jared Kelnick, of course. He's He was up quite a bit last season, and uh, seemingly that should also be the case this season. I'm a huge, like, I, again, I don't really know, but I've been What's happening? What is happening? Why? Why are we making so many errors? I I don't know what's going on. Like for some reason, maybe just can't feel the ball. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I, I don't really know much about baseball, obviously. But uh, I was hyped for Kelton. What are you doing? Okay. I guess the game just decided. I'm not even touching the controller, and this guy is just like, okay, well, I think the game has decided that we're going to lose. Okay, now they're just admitting everything. Jesus. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, I couldn't even go run to that spot. My controller, like I was pressing the button, but then my guy just like went the other direction for some reason. We have no outs. They have a runner on first and third. And Otani has like no confidence right now. This is going to get really ugly. Also, we're basically the Oakland Athletics. So we're a really bad team. Okay, first out. Jesus, this could easily be a 4 or 5 to 1 game by the end of this inning. And uh, I'm going to have to really tighten up the bats. Out. Was that an out? Or was that a run? No. He was safe, unfortunately. So one out, and then they have runners on second and first. I'm just throwing fastballs that I can't afford. That one, oh wait, it does have. I'm pretty sure that was a swing. I just need to get this inning over with. Like, I'm just throwing fast.
so when I play games on my PS4, or um, when, so when I record these videos on my PlayStation, I'm actually like sitting on the edge of my bed, crisscross applesauce. So because of that, I have like no support on my back or legs or anything. And um, yeah, it can get kind of uncomfortable. Get some sore backs, some cramps, stuff like that. I will go to second on this guy. I think he can get there. And he is safe. Alright, runner into second. Boom, the pioneers. No. In the relief pitcher, Tyler Duffy. All right, let's see what Tyler's got. Boom. That was a bad one. But it looks like we should be safe at first. Yep. All right. Austin Allen, our catcher. Should I go just pure power on this guy? Get the power shot there. I'm pressing square for power. I think that's correct. I hope it is. It Maybe it's circle for power, but for some reason I feel like a circle is contact and square is power. But I'm not sure. Alright, seventh inning. Ooh. Is that a for sure?
showing he's had a great game, but it's time for uh, for some new blood in the game right now. Showing gets a nice standing ovation. Home opener, new team in Portland, new player. Now Frankie Montes, he comes in on relief. Uh, he's not even like fully warmed up yet though. He gets some warm up pitches here. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that. I'm getting into the warm up. That's does just whatever. I need to set that warming up. Okay. His timing is a lot different from Shohei's. He's like a lot slower um, on his wind up. Shoei, like Shoei almost kind of was like a rubber band. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know if like, this guy's a little bit more controlled, but his velocity doesn't seem to be there. Ooh. Ah, get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh no. Dude, the, the control is so bad. Like, why is the control so bad? I feel like the players don't go where you want them to go. Like the, the position on the field. It feels like there's like fixed quadrants on the field that you can go to. And you don't actually have like true full control over the players. It's like they have predetermined spots they can go to. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh my god, is that back to back homers? 
Now that was a foul ball. That was a foul ball. But it was nearly back to back homers. Okay. O2. Boom. Uh, another foul ball. He's really pulling to the left. So maybe I hit to the right. Nice. Is it a homer? It's, it is. Wow. Back to back solo home runs. CN in the Davis. That's huge. Look at this. Bang. Nice. That's nice. Just pimping that thing off. And uh, this relief pitcher not having a good time right now, but we now have a three run lead. And hey, that adjustment moved my aim a little bit to the right. That uh, I got what I needed out of that. Is that another homer? Please tell me. Oh no, he's got that. He's got First out of the inning. Up three. I think this guy's a home run. This game doesn't even. Perhaps. Oh, that's a bad pit. That's a bad uh, hit. Yep. Second out. Alright. We have here Matt Chapman. I think this is our first baseman. Oh, is that a no doubter? No, 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 it's too high. Too high. Alright, well, we got uh, two runs in that inning. Uh, extended our lead to three. So all we have to do is retire them here and we win the game. All we have to do is retire them here and we win the game. I don't think we have to play uh, the other part of the inning. Since we're up. Pretty sure. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. Oh, I'm saying, like, look at these Portland jerseys I made earlier. If they were going to relocate a team to Portland, you have to admit that these jerseys are slick. They should put me in charge of branding. Uh, this green and green color profile is sick. Honestly, though, like I, I really do hope that uh, they bring a major league baseball team to Portland. I think it would be a ton of fun. I would love to go to. I'd love to go to a game out here. Um, and you know, Portland. You know, a lot of people don't know, but. Portland is a great sports city. You know, the, the level of support that the Blazers get and that the Timbers get is just, uh, you know, the atmosphere is awesome. It's absolutely awesome atmosphere. Um, if any of you guys listening to this ever get the chance, uh, I would definitely recommend going to a Blazers game, going to a Timbers game. Uh, obviously it's not Portland, it's out in Eugene, but even the Oregon Ducks, for any sport, uh, you know, football, basketball, hockey, baseball, any sport, the Oregon Ducks, I would go check them out too. Uh, I've been to a few Oregon Ducks hockey games, and those are just a fantastic time. Okay, let's go. Crowd's really starting to get into it now. Second. All right. They had two runners on base. They could actually tie the game here with a home run. If they had a home run right here, the game is tied. Oof. Right down the middle, too. That was a risky pitch, but it paid off. Just gotta be smart here. Gotta play it smart. Don't give them anything. Oh, no. Okay, get there, get there. And that's the ball game. The Portland Pioneers win seven runs to four against the Minnesota Twins. And the first game in Portland Pioneer 
years history uh, after moving to Portland from Oakland. It's a winning effort. And uh, just like it was a winning effort in the MLBPA, and the owners negotiated a new CBA. Like that, like I kind of tied that all together there and put a bow on it. I'm proud of myself for that. And then no action until the 6th. I should know the 3rd, then the 6th, but then the 7th and the 8th that really popped off. Obviously because I changed the settings. But, um, yeah. Uh, again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are baseball fans, if you're excited for this upcoming season. Um, the current season. If you guys would like me to talk about any more baseball stuff, you know, I'm definitely open to the idea, even though, again, I don't know what I'm talking about, but we can, I'll, I'll try and figure something out if you guys want that, but just let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this every single day. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.